County celebrates an increase in economic development and wants to attract some new businesses. Our Ellie Martin looks at some of the things driving that development. Layman Griggs remembers when his family's floral and gift shop called the bus stop was actually a real bus stop right off Houston's downtown square. And that's the reason we named it the bus stop. Uh, there was a desk sitting inside here with uh, a gentleman sitting in here run a taxi service and uh, the uh, bus would come through two or three times a week. The retired Mississippi Highway Patrol officer says his family wanted to be part of what he and others see as a positive growth trend for downtown Houston and the area. This is a great little community. Everybody knows everybody. And that's, that's why we love it here. It's just uh, a nice little community and, and a great place to live. As executive director of the Chickasaw Development Foundation, one of Sean Johnson's roles is to market the area and its unique attractions to potential investors. Tanglefoot Trail, the Natchez Trace, uh, and, and, and Chickasaw County in general has, you know, uh, almost 100 miles of horse trails. I mean, they're a big horsing community here, and you can see by the traffic going around us, you know, for a, for a town that's really not on an interstate, we have a lot of traffic coming through here. Another building that's found new life is the old Ford Place. Back in the day, this used to be a Ford dealership. Now it's an event center. And Sean Johnson says it's projects like this that will attract even more development. This square, uh, you know, really is the core of the community. The city's about to uh, start with a development with new sidewalks, pedestrian lighting, uh, landscaping and streetscaping. So we're really working hard to uh, bring this town up to the next level. The Dixie Diner, a downtown landmark for decades, is getting a makeover and a boutique hotel will soon open on Houston Square. Allie Martin, WCBI News.